Oh god. Why did that door just open right when I was gonna do my intro? Oh god, okay. Guys, this is a new game called The Beast Inside that I'm gonna be playing because we're getting closer and closer to Halloween and I want to keep the scary games going. Okay, so select difficulty. Adventure, standard, or beast? I guess we'll do the standard, so we're gonna have some puzzles and some action elements. Alright, I'm going into this pretty much blind, guys. The only thing that I know is what the dev told me, and I guess there's like two different timelines. One is like, you know, maybe a couple hundred years ago or something, the other's modern. And you're inside a house trying to do something that might save the world? I, I don't know, I'm not fully clear on it yet. But it's supposed to be really, really terrifying. Like, lots of scares, so... Be ready! And I'm hoping I'm ready, too, because... I, I don't know, man, I'm playing this late at night with the lights down, like... Ugh. Oh, God. Where... Where am I? Why? What is that? God... Why? Adam! Adam! Why are oh, you stalking no. us? Is this about Adam's work? What do you want from us? Why are you tormenting my family? No! Adam! Uh... No. No, what have you done to Adam? Oh, God. War calls for casualties. Oh, my no. God. There is no Jeez! We're just, we're just a regular family. You hear me? We just wanted to live our life. And you've ruined everything. Pictures, bugs, threats. And now you've killed me. Stay away! Don't! They oh, already no. know about you. They've been watching the house. They won't let you. Hush. No! What are you doing? Don't do it! What are you doing? I'm the front line. Oh, no! They're gonna open up this game like that? One week earlier. Oh God. All right. The further we go, the more doubts I have. Beautiful it day, will though. Be challenging, true. <gasps> That's but the girl. It was you who kept saying you'd like to get away from the city. Feel the call of the wild. For the weekend, honey. Not for the rest of our lives. <laughs> who says it's for the rest of our lives? Really, Emma? We don't know the day or the hour. Oh, very funny. Like, we don't hear enough about nuclear threats in the media. That's what I'm talking about. If I don't break the code, this country would be like a basket full of nuclear mushrooms. Adam, stop it. But then again, maybe this shack will fall down on us before Brezhnev's boys launch their first missiles. It's no shack. It's a present from your parents, and you should appreciate it. There it is. Take a look! Oh, it looks even better than the photos. All right, nice house, well, nice our day. Our stuff made it here before us. And those lazy movers didn't even bother waiting for us. That's okay. We can bring it all in ourselves. Yeah, meaning I toil away when you give orders from the shower. Okay. Well, this doesn't seem so scary so far. Three-hour drive, and we're finally here. The place seems peaceful and quiet. Maybe it'll help me to focus on those damn telegrams to decipher. Honey, don't just stand there. Those boxes won't carry themselves in. Update. The place seems peaceful and quiet until Emma showed up. Eh. Uh. Whoa. Why did that garbage can just launch? <laughs> All right. Um, home sweet home, guys. Beautiful day. You know, nothing, uh, nothing to worry about. Can I open this? No? Alright, take the box into the house. Where's this box we're talking about, huh? These? Oh. Press tab to check the voice recorder. Use as a voice recorder to record conversations and thoughts. Okay. Cool. Alright. Gotta get those boxes inside. Okay, I could I do that. A box on a table upstairs. I'm gonna try to turn off motion blur. There we go. Field of view and motion blur off. Alright. Let's get these boxes inside. Dang, man. They, uh, they did not paint the walls or put up wallpaper or anything. I guess they stripped off wallpaper. I don't know exactly what I'm seeing here. Oh, what's this? Mom spent her childhood here, but she never talked about it much. 
I'm glad she thinks this is where Emma and I should settle down. I can't imagine raising a kid in Boston these days. Okay. So, uh, she said, Dear son, this house belonged to our family for many decades. Some even called it the Stevenson's Refuge. But when me and your dad moved to Boston, we thought Grandpa's just gonna sell it, as he said he would. Well, he didn't. Surprisingly, he left a it for us in his will. And now you and your lovely life will live here, raise your kids, and simply enjoy life far away from the turmoil of our dangerous time. I can't even imagine a better place to settle down. Take good care of Emma. We'll visit you sometime next month, if my aching hip allows that. Mom. P.S. Dad thinks he should be the one to come up with a name for your son or daughter. I have no idea why he's insisting on that. Maybe he's just getting old and tries to leave some kind of legacy. Anyway, act surprised when he mentions it to you. Alright, thanks, Mom. Emma, where did you go? A pull hook for lowering the attic stairs. Ooh. Alright, she, she's in the shower. Oh. There we go. Can we check out the attic, please? Oh no, it's locked. Okay, another note. I paid those bastards in advance, so of course I didn't even bother to take those boxes to the attic. You can't trust anyone these days. Wow. Alright, we'll take that too. Alright, let's go grab all our boxes, bring them upstairs. There we go. Aha! Time to paint the walls. I think there's some paint in the attic. Yeah, well, how do I get in the attic? Because it needs a dang key. You've got to be kidding me. Fuck. So we will make a great agent, just like Dad. Uh, I can't get in the goddamn attic without a key. Check the dining room. It should be in a drawer. Okay. How do you know where it is? Okay, it's going to be in here. We're going we're gonna to check all of nope, them. Nothing in here. I can't find it in the dining room. Oh, sorry. I, I guess I didn't get it from the trunk. Oh, <sighs> typical. But the trunk was locked. Oh my god. There we go. We got to pop the trunk. All right, all right. There's the key. Nice. All right, let's go open up that attic. Easy peasy. Oh, what's up here? Huh. There's even an extra little room, but it's locked. What is this? Fancy! I think I need to go above. Ooh, a crowbar. We know we're gonna need this, especially in a scary game. Ah, what is this? Damn it. Hmm, what's that? Oh, a board's a loose. Plank. Someone's hidden something under the floor. Break it! Come on, Paul! I'm pulling as hard as I can! Come on! Yeah, a little bit more. What there we go. Be? A treasure? Hope it's not great grandpa's porn mags. Oh jeez, no. Oh, look, it's a it's a cipher. <gasps> okay. An excerpt from Julius Caesar's co commentaries on the Gallic War. I almost said Garlic War. I remember this from my Latin classes. Some letters look different than others. Rotate to find the hidden message. Okay. Um Let's rotate it. Is that J equals C? Caesar's initials, but why did someone write that they were equal? <laughs> I'd have to be a goddamn code breaker. To... Wait, isn't that what I do for a living? Alright, J equals or J equals C. So we've got a code we wheel here. What can I do? Can I rotate these things? This right. device oh. will help me decode the letters in the text. I have to break ah. the cipher to open the box. Okay, so J equals C. Alright, so if we leave J equals C, then we would see M equals F. So let's see if M and F... Let's see, is there an F? Yes, there... Okay, there's an F. I think... Okay, hopefully that we're onto something. So the next letter was H. So if I look at the disc, 
then H would equal A. Is there an A? Let's see. Yes, there is an A. The next letter is P for Paul. P would be W. Oh, wait, no, no, sorry, wrong thing. P would be I. Is there an I? Wait a minute. Can I solve this right now? Faith? Yes! It's Faith! We got it! Oh, another key. Antique key, but what could you unlock with it? Good question. What is this? Property of Nicholas. It is September 27th in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening. Almost. Oh, boy. Oh, we're going back in time. The chapter two. It is September 27th, in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening. Almost night. Never before have I kept a diary, but they say that it might be a chance for me to reclaim the memories I have lost. Besides, writing entails a clarity of thought, makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination. Oh boy. I'm home again after ten years absence. I'm relieved to find the house unscathed. That's good. Uh -huh. It's the only roof I have over my head for now. I have matches. I should light some candles and take a look around. Okay. Is this where no the game gets scary? Did I honestly think he would welcome me at the door? He vanished a decade ago without so much as leaving a letter. Oh the house boy. feels strange, even though it has not changed one bit. There are fears creeping out go. of the darkness whose source I cannot define. But memories will come back. That's what they told me. What is this? Maybe then I will realize what happened to my father. Wait, why are the candles and going out? What happened to me? I, I lit this candle. Oh god, press tab to read the diary. He writes down his thoughts. Okay, so the one guy's got his tape recorder. This guy's got his diary. What is this? Photo at the mine. My father and his partner a few days after opening their pyrite mine. Okay. Father, are you here? Wait, wait. Oh, you can push and pull things to move. There we go. Gotta light this candle. What is this? Oh! Upstairs. What could it be? What is this? Is this a de it's a land contract? Why did something just happen? Like, what was that? Oh, I gotta light this candle. Come on, man! You're gonna hit me with the scary stuff right away? Oh, a lantern. My grandfather used to use one of those when he worked in a mine. Back then, these were a rarity. They said it was foolproof. Not only when going underground, now it's rusting away. But it's still working, and it might come in handy. Okay. Oh, nice. Now we got some light. What just happened up there? Do I really have to go upstairs? Hello? Damn wind. I, I thought the window was bolted oh, shut. Okay. Okay. False alarm. Okay, it was a bird. Jeez! Ah! Oh, God. Hey, what are you doing here? This is private property. Who the hell is that? Who the devil is he? Who are you? Uh... Please. Leave me alone, dude. Can I light any more candles? Oh, my God, dude. What am I supposed to do? Oh no. There's a candle here. What was that sound? That's locked. Oh no. Hopefully that was just a neighbor. Me and my father in front of his inn. I was seven at the time. Rotate it. 
Find the hidden message. Is there a hidden message? He reproached me for making faces and not standing straight. Although he was the one who couldn't stand still, as you could tell. He gave me a good thrashing then, even though I didn't deserve it. So everything's locked here. Well, time to see if the neighbor snuck into the house. Where are you? Where are Where you, you freak? You hey! You still here? I'd better take a look. He pointed at the shed. Maybe he did? Can find something in there. Okay. Where well, I saw him going this way. That's where I saw him going. There's the shed. Okay. Check the shed. Alright. This kind of looks like Mama's shack in Friday the 13th. Check that away. Strange. The light is coming from the inside, but the door's locked? Maybe I can find something to cut through the chain. Oh, jeez. Alright, what's this? There you go, bolt cutters. Cut that dang bolt. There we go. Hello? Oh my god. That's my father's hat. Oh no. Did he leave this as some kind of clue for me? Oh god, what I was- I should look into it. I didn't just see- there was something standing here. Oh my god, dude. I shouldn't be playing this so late at night. I literally got chills. What the hell is this? A newspaper clipping. This terrible crime shocked the community. Or the peaceful local community. The deputy sheriff called to the inn. Confirmed the man's death. John Norton had been considered missing the last few weeks. The assailant was exceptionally brutal. The victim's throat was slashed, and many cuts and burns all over his body suggest prolonged torture. A gruesome murder? Here? No John way. Norton. Sounds familiar. Okay. Grab this. I don't feel like looking for that vagabond in the dead of night. Yeah, we need to get home. we need to get back inside. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to check the basement next. Oh god. Yeah, we're running. Oh! Hello? What? You let yourself in? Hey, are you deaf? I'm talking to you! What the heck? Oh! Huh? Am I going mad? What in heaven's name is going on? If I tell anyone about this, I'll end up in an asylum. Oh my god. It's almost like he's watching us. Oh no. Oh no. This game is coming out strong, man, with the scares. Okay. Okay. Please don't kill me. Am I supposed to pick this up? Oh, I could throw it. We'll use this as defense, maybe. Oh, Jesus! <sighs> Stop it! Oh my god, dude. This game is seriously scaring the heck out of me. <laughs> Why did I decide to play this super late at night with the lights friggin' dimmed? Oh my god. I, ho I hope you guys are handling these scares better than me. this blood come from oh jeez dear god well i guess we're going down oh that's not even the basement okay i went to this door um who's there who's there are we really gonna break this 
I don't want to open it. Oh god, I have to. Oh, should we fill the lamp? Why are you telling me this now? Oh, there's some more matches. So it looks like you have to manage your light. There's some more kerosene. Good. There's a note. Hillside Inn is now open. 40 comfortable rooms. Cozy refuge in the mountain village. Great tasty food. Take this. I just... I know he's gonna be right around this corner. <sighs> oh. Okay, there's just rats. Yes. As long as I can keep focusing on the things that give me light, I don't have to get scared. Oh god. Do I have to crawl under this? See to crouch? Whoa, okay, it's just a painting. Oh. those matches. Maybe there's another way in. Side entrance. Oh, there's something behind here. Okay. Come on. There we go. Um damn it, I can't open it. Maybe there's something in my briefcase that would help get it open. Your briefcase? Whatever happened. I hope it's not my father's blood. Would the shears work? No. Get out of the basement. <laughs> oh, am I delusional? Stop it. God dang it, man. Oh. I this game is seriously giving me chills. I hate it. I mean the game's cool, but like Oh, it freaking hits you, man, with the jump scares! Oh, what the heck? What the hell is that? Looks like roots. I need to get rid of them before I leave the basement. Oh, oh I did get the things. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Cut those. There we go. Why are there roots in here now? I need a new lamp, man. Oh wait, wait, we could use multiple kerosenes. We could fill it up more and more. There we go. He's upstairs. No. Oh Does my god. Me. What's that? Oh no. Are you serious? I have to go upstairs? Oh, he's gone! Oh no. Has someone gone through my briefcase? <gasps> they did. There's a key! I have no idea why I took it to... to the place where I spent the last decade. I can't even remember which lock it fits. Well, I think I know now. Great. Oh no. Don't. Don't. Why are you going in this room? Oh Where god! You? Stay back. You hear me? Keep away! Why is his mouth stitched? No, don't oh, come on, man! Oh god, get up. Get up. We gotta get to the basement. Great, now we're back in the present time. So we're living through our, like, ancestors' memories. <sighs> God, man. Hopefully this part's not as scary as that one. There's pages torn out. Damn it, someone must have torn out the rest of the pages. <laughs> Strange. I was in the attic and... I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. Yes, Emma. 
Uh, you won't believe what I just found. Oh, she's on the first floor. Emma? You left the door open. There she Honey, is. You won't believe what I found it. Hey, Emma? Can you hear me? Emma? Emma? I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. Where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this... The power is out, by the way. Diary. W what A fuse must have blown. Be a darling, go to the basement, and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? No? I, I fully understand. Why are we moving here right now when the house is in this state? That's what I want to know. God. Okay, there's a there's a clock. What's her problem? She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. So the lights are not working. Do I have flashlight? It's so damn dark in the basement. Oh, I gotta get Maybe a flashlight from the attic. the attic. There's a lot of junk in there. All right, so off to the attic we go. Where's this flashlight you speak of? I see a golden telephone. Fancy. Oh, this is a flashlight. This is an old school flashlight. All right. Let's go back to the basement. How do I turn on my flashlight? Oh, thank God. There we go. Oh. We got some good light. <gasps> God's sake. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of. Okay? We can see so clearly. Where are the fuses? Hmm. Not in there. Oh, we got some, uh, we got some lanterns there. Oh, here's the fuse box. This is sealed up now, by the way. There we go. Strange, one's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? What? We're missing a fuse? fuse in the shed by the house. All right, well, we know where the shed is. Who would be messing with the dang fuses? Um, isn't this the shed I'm supposed to go to? Is there another way in? Ah, yes. Here we go. Alright, where is that fuse? This door... Wait, where'd that door go? Damn, it's locked. I saw some keys hanging in the basement. Maybe they'll... Oh, come them. on! I gotta go back to the basement? Oh, they were on the door! <laughs> the key was on the actual fuse box little door. Okay, we got the key. There we go. Oh, no. Damn, there are no fuses here. Of course. What the f- Yeah. Did you not notice the bloody footprints when you came in here? What is this? A shirt covered in blood. It looks fresh. How did it get here? Oh, God. Why would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? Wait, Emma? Emma, did you move this stuff? Quantum localizer. I can't make much sense of it, but I trust the author knew what he was writing about. This is some sort of kinetic device. Okay. Wait, the localizer can detect and analyze so-called quantum traces, which enable us to see short flashbacks of people from the past, including their precise location and activities. I've never had a chance to use it in the field, but we were ordered to carry one just in case. I'd much rather get a gun than this- or than another oddity from the eggheads and the CIA. What the? Can I actually use this to see what these guys- or wh whoever this was, like, what they did? Oh, Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. Emma? Emma? Honey? 
Come on. Where's Emma? Here, yeah, we need to use this. Something's not right. Maybe the localizer will show me just what's happened here. Wait, what did they say in training? Okay, so press X to equip and unequip, and it'll tell you when a cloud is near. Huh. If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a silhouette of the person who is here in a different time. Oh, jeez. I should follow the localizer. Green lines at the edge of the screen show the direction to go, and the numbers the distance to the nearby cloud. Ah, okay, right up here. This is the place. Now I need to use the pulse to show the cloud, then I need to scan it. Show me it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there it is. The signal must be coming from this place. Now I just have to use the scanner on this cloud. What the heck? <laughs> the found something. Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clothes here. All covered in blood. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. I have to find out what happened here. Oh, jeez. Okay, we gotta find another cloud. It leads back here. It looks like it's gonna be kind of far away. The fuse is missing, some clothes are lying all covered in blood, and a trace of a person near the shed. It's all looking very strange. Maybe it's oh, all geez. about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. I should use the pulse to make the quantum cloud visible, otherwise I won't see a thing. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Right in here. There it is. I'm at the source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. It must be caused by an anomaly nearby. I should neutralize it. Okay. Due to their nature, clouds can be unstable and their readability may be affected by anomalies. In this case, you'll have to destroy them all. So you find the anomalies, and then you click the right button. There's the anomaly. Now I have to charge the... Okay, so destroy it. Hit with the EMP charge fired from your device. Okay. And hit it with a beam. Oh, oh, is that it? In the water? There it is. Oh, wait, no, no. I have to left click. That should do it. There we go. Okay, we're back. I did it. Clearly someone was here recently and used this rope. I'll try to find more traces. Okay. There's, yeah, there's a rope down there. Okay, we could reach much further. There we go. Now do we go to the next one? The localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud must be near. Oh, jeez. What about our girl, though, man? You're leaving her behind! Alright, it's through here. Uh, I think this is where we use the rope, maybe? Oh, it's here! It's actually here! There we go. It must have went up from here. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Grapple! Hold it down! Nice! Can I take my grapple back or no? Oh my god, he's leading us on a wild goose chase. Yet. Whatever happened here, it hasn't been long. The trail leads through that gate. I'll go check it out. Oh my goodness. Clearly I mean, drag something heavy through that gate. Damn, the gate is closed. I need to look for a way around. Well, clearly this way, right? I pull this stuff off. There we go. Some planks are loose. I'll try to break them out. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's crawl through. I don't know why we need this device though when the blood is so fresh. Okay. Is there anything else here? Oh boy. 
The blood hasn't dried yet. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. Yeah, that's it. They're totally not getting murdered. Oh my god. This girl's gonna be in there, isn't she? Damn it! Closed. Just closed. You know there's another way in. Oh, dude. It looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that... <laughs> Fuck! This thing scared the shit out of me. I'd better check what the localizers detected before I go in. Okay. Oh, well, saving the game. Something bad's gonna happen. There's something through here. Can I burn it through here? Nope. Alright, undo this rope. Pull on it! Please! Oh man, what do we do? What do we do? We go this way. There's really nothing else we could do here. Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I drag this over here and climb up this way? There we go. Yes! That's how we get up. Oh god. We have to clear this. Right over here. Anomaly detected. Right there. Got it. Wait, is there another anomaly? There's another one. There we go. It's like we're hunting space ghosts. Where are you, Anomaly? Wait, I think I see it. All the way over here. There it is. Got it. Now we can scan. Wait, I need to scan again. There we go. Who is he? What did he hide here? Yeah, what did you hide here? Oh, is that a knife? A hunting knife. <gasps> Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it there. I'll take it, just in case. Okay, we need to get into the barn. Cut the rope. Time to go back to the barn. Here's the first side entrance. There we go. Okay. Let me in! Try to get inside. We gotta go over here. There's another rope. Come on. There we go. This should be it. The heck? What is that? Oh! Grapple hook! Dang it! Got it! Sweet! There we go. We're in the barn. What happened in here? God, who could have done this? This wasn't just some poacher, more like a fucking sadistic hunter. Oh god. What is that? What's beeping in there? Wait, that beeping. It's as if it's coming from the inside. The animal is hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. Oh my god, are you serious? How the heck am I supposed to get up there now? How do I get back up? Oh, we can pull these. There we go. Come on. There's still a lock on this though. For this kind of chain. I'll look around. There we go. One more. All right, where's a bolt cutter? Come on. There's got to be a bolt cutter around here. There we go. Okay. Go ahead and pop this thing open. Nice. I could use that crate to reach the ladder and climb up. There's a ladder here? 
Dragging this on out. Now, where is this ladder that you speak of, sir? Oh, it's over there. Nice. Okay. Pull this a little bit more over. Why is the beeping speeding up? Oh, we can cut the rope here, right? There we go. Come on. Okay. What is inside this thing? What do they do to this poor animal? Oh god. Oh, this is sick. I think I'm gonna puke. What is going on in there, dude? Wait, is that the fuse? What's all this equipment? And why was it in... Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there is the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house. In our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got a goddamn fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. I don't like this. Someone's butchered a deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. Your focus... ...is on the fuse still. When your fuse... ...was inside a deer that was just murdered. Like, he just killed this deer and stuck a fuse in it. You're just gonna go home and be like, Hey, honey, we gotta turn the power on. Oh my god, you madman. If she's, you know, we don't even know if she's home anymore. If she's even safe. We went on this little, like, little adventure. I remember back in the day, some twisted kids in the area played with the occult. But I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. But clearly, the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I just hope they don't mistake us for turkeys on Thanksgiving. Don't <laughs> mistake us for turkeys. Oh god. Alright, we're back home. Oh, please tell me you're okay. We even left the door open and everything. I'm so sorry. Are you still here? Honey? Where did you go? Alright, well, time to go in the basement. She better not be down here, dude. You should have never left, man. I'm just saying, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh god, here we go. The power's back on, I guess. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much poll. Well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. It's only the third month. What's it gonna be like by the ninth? Oh, God. Why is my flashlight not here? Emma? Bitch! <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? Wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, Harry <sighs> fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. Actually, where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. <laughs> if it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and stew. <laughs> Ta-da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? <laughs> where do we start? Okay. Sometime later. Great! Great! Box full of cash. Wait, what? Oh, Honey, she's I painting. Really to remind you what the doctor said. Uh, you've done it plenty of times already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Still, in your condition. It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? But fine. Okay. I mean... I don't know if you should be painting. I should be doing this. I have the paintbrush. 
The roller? Yes. I'll take it. You should not be doing that. There we go. If I can't help you, I'll pester you with questions. Have they called you from work yet? No. And did you give them our new number? Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. <laughs> <sighs> Gives me the creeps. Ever thought about doing something other than, you know, cryptanalysis? I mean, before you joined the CIA? Like what? Like, um, something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of lives. Am Someone I really? Without all the spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back? Without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone? Um, not really. Besides, I can trust you, right? Can I? What if she's a double agent? What are you staring at? Can you move that piece of furniture? There's something behind it. Which one? This? The big dresser? Okay. Oh man, it's that painting. Oh god. Now I regret putting that thing on my head. I wonder who that guy was. Maybe if we hang this in the bedroom, you'll come to us in our dreams and tell us everything. Bad idea. I'll tell you first. Okay, okay. Sorry, buddy, you're going to the basement. That's the proper place for gentlemen from the previous century. Yeah, dude, he like stares into your soul. A few days later. Hey, we have phone service. Uh, is this still us? I thought all the wallpaper was torn off. Shit, it's probably from the office. Where's the phone? Oh jeez. Wait, what's that? Okay. Let me through. I've got a phone to get. Hello? Hello? It's David. So, this is it, boss. This is the moment when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. Well, I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now. So I thought, maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I'd better call him. Because you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck in every possible way. <sighs> you're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. And on top of that, Harold has vanished. Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams. What happened? I don't know. Stress? He's been paranoid lately. Seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Oh no. Fuck. On our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. I've got the documents from Janice with me. I'll get down to work. Good luck. And give my regards to your wife. I'll call you in a few days. All right. There goes my vacation. The cipher machine is in the office. I've wasted enough time already. What the heck? We did all this? We did all this in a few days? Or technically, I guess, a week? God dang, man. Is the office through here? Aha! This is quite the office! This looks special. Alright, where's my cipher machine? Alright, it's time to work. Enough slacking. I need to go back to the office. What are we doing? Do we have to solve some, uh, decode some things? Alright, use. So, how do I do it again? First, 
Let's take a look at the manual. Okay. Please follow the instructions below before Open activating. Cover and place the cylinders. Easy. Aha. I have to take the right cylinders from the table. Luckily, they're numbered. So two. I need to remember that each cylinder goes into a specific position. Yeah, two is first, and then four, and then five. Wait, where's five? There's five, and then seven. Should be good. I did something wrong. This isn't how it should be. Wait, really? Two, four, five... Oh, no, eight! Whoops! Eight. That was the one that we goofed on. Okay, the first part's done. Now it's time to set the cogs. Okay, so the cogs... Let's see. Set the numbers in a window to following positions from left to right. Two, fourteen, six, twenty-two. There we Piece go. Of cake. Now for the last step, the wire's at the bottom. Okay. Plug the wires in the drawer in the following configuration. A through F, G through Z, R through T. A, F, G, Z, R, T. Oh, we gotta use these. So, so we pick up this one. The A. F. G. There. And then R, T. Okay. Run a test using the password B, P, F, L, U, P. B, P, L, U, P. B. Uh... P F L U E. Okay, it works. I can get down to it. Nice! We did it! Oh boy, you got a long day ahead of you, buddy. Those are a lot of steps to decipher this stuff. What's crazy though. Is there are machines like this in real life used by intelligence? Although I'm sure What's they're this? far more sophisticated Looks like a now. Encrypted with an enigma. Maybe with the right combination, I'll be able to decipher it. Now, how do I set it up? A rotated. Roman five three S T. This must be a clue for the encrypted message. What does it mean, though? B. How can I use it to set enigma up. B O three S T. Okay, so I'm trying to look for a three. If there's a three in any of these, uh, there's three, there's a V, there's an RT though. We need to find an O3. So there's an O3 here, but there's no ST. There's an ST here. Oh, okay. I think it's number 17. There's a five, there's an O3, and an ST in this one. So 17, I think that should be good. Now let's try typing out the code. So X, G, D, T J trust the solution is right in front of me. I know it. A oh, Roman five, three oh. S T. Oh, we got it, buddy. I think you've cracked way more complicated codes. Well, no, we got it. We're table. we're cracking it right now. Trust no. Is it gonna say one? Trust no one. C, M, H. Yes. Dash. And then A. Uh, where's Y? A Y. Trust no one, is it supposed to say but? Okay, but. M. V. Where, oh god, Z is in a different position. There it goes, Z. B. F. Y. D. N. Trust, Trust no, no one, one but, but yourself? yourself? Sounds ominous. Who wrote this anyway? Now what? Check combinations 29 and 30. Okay, here we go. Are you serious? P U Y W A. Why? Still nothing. Fuck. Really? <gasps> Wait a minute. I think we skipped ahead in that one. What is this? this? Terrible crime shocked. Fuck. This looks like our house. The victim's throat was slashed. This is getting too fucked up. Seriously. You don't say. God, how long has this been here? Is this blood or just rust? Is this what I think it is? More notes from Nicholas. Oh, God. It hurts, so I must be alive. Damn it, I almost broke.
Oh, God, we're going into chapter four. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're back in the olden times. Oh, God, we just, we just fell. What is he doing in our house? Is he the one responsible for my father's disappearance? What if they're in the basement? No. I'd rather not think of whose blood that was. Check your father's bedroom. All right, guys, so I'm going to break this episode here. But if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. Let's see if we can hit 8,000 likes on this episode. And guys, also, please be sure, share it with your friends. Do whatever you can to get eyeballs on it because I really want to play through this game and really it's going to matter a lot to me that you guys are actually watching it. So if you're watching it, you're enjoying it, then I'll know that you want to see more of this game. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time.